Good morning, good morning to you, my beautiful people. Pearl is well with you. It's a brand new day, and we are alive for Bangalore living. Now, I have a concern, and it affects all of us because the thing about it, COVID is around. There's no way, no way of going around it. So therefore, we all have to learn how to live with it, okay? But my concern is, some people have this to say, some people have that to say, what is COVID, Babylon system, um, people make up this thing, all different sorts of, we all have different views. But the reality is, it is affecting all of us. So therefore, what I'm trying to say is, we have to take responsibility, one and all, each and every one of us, and it has to start with us as individuals, starting with me, starting with you. Now I'm heading to work. I just catch two bus to work. And these people are not taking protocol. No, they're not. They're not taking precaution. They're doing what pleases to them. And when you have to drive on the public transportation, yes, it's not easy. You have to from time to time. Now here's my sanitizer. I don't leave it. I make sure I have mine home and I fill a bottle. You're supposed to have sanitizer given to people to sanitize their hand. Nobody is doing that. I think one bus van, I drive in already, but I drove with him and he does it. So, my situation is, if you as an individual not taking responsibility for your own health, your own life, what will go to happen? Now these bus drivers, this is for you out there, and I hope many of you get your seat because you come it because of greed. You put people's life in jeopardy. You can't. You thought they're ready to curse your house first thing. You're a Jamaican. And it's like you know, they have much to say. Or you'll say, far enough. But I'm just saying, this is what affecting us. You suppose the, 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 the our leader said, one in each row now i sit down and i make sure i go in one single seat and i'm telling you it will be hell this morning now i'm not going to be selfish because each and everyone wants to reach the work you understand everybody wants to reach the work not me alone so i'm not going to be selfish but one thing on that route and the 15 route where i travel get out shot of us vehicle is there 24 7 going and coming so therefore you don't shot of us but they are so greedy that they want it all for themselves. So, they have four in row, three in row, and I was prepared this morning for them to row me because if it's one thing, I'm trying. So everybody needs to try too. So, the driver keep taking up people, the bus full, but yet still, he keep, oh, come, let's go, come, come, come. And these stupid people, God forgive me, but they are stupid because they're putting not only their life, but other people's life in jeopardy. A bus, one bus, one bus full of um, people is like you have, you have um, one bus full of people. If you used to carry 20 something and you have to cut it down, when the Prime Minister locked down the country, you don't have none at all. You can't carry. And they rebel. What must people do? They're making it bad for themselves. They're making it bad for themselves. Because too much into one row. Too much sitting down, jacking up together. I'm telling you. What is it? When I go to Rome, you do as the Rome do? Not this time. Not this time, baby. Uh-uh. Not this time. I will take a stand because two 
if it's two of us traveling together, that's okay. You know, two people from one home and they turn on the bus and they want to sit together, that's okay. But for me to just go on a bus and a total stranger, three rubbing up on me, not going to happen because there's a protocol. You don't have sanitizer in it. You don't have anything spraying out the bus. So what are you trying to do? Spread this corona. You understand what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Come on, people. Come on. We all need to get along and we all need to go work. But at the end of the day, is what is going to happen when we all infected each other because of greed. I call it greed. Yeah, that's what I call it, greed. You want to reach work, I want to reach work. But at the same time, it's too much in one way. And that is our problem that we have. We don't listen. Yeah, we just, just keep going, going, going. Morning. And we do as we like. And this is what creates a problem. You can't be doing that. You can't hear talk. They're ready for class. Come on, they said one in each row. You understand what everybody wants? Be two bus behind each other, three bus behind But because they are racing and these people, I don't even know what to say. And it just gets in my head. I said, oh my God. Oh my God. Seriously? But I sit the other day and I sat down and I watched them going and I said, not again. This morning, I was prepared to take a stand because if you don't take a stand, nobody's going to take it for you. So people, don't be afraid. If you're in the vehicle and you find out that they want to put how much people beside you, take a stand. Because it starts with us. It starts with us as an individual. You have to stand up and say, no. No. This bus is over. It's like the bus this morning was no different from those regular mornings from popping last year and the year before where it was overcrowded and stuff. It's a pity when I really have to stop. That's why I'm in a place for walking. You know? Even if you have me drive, come on, I'm ready. I walk that couple of miles, you know. But you see, I don't really walk it to come in. I rather walk it going. But when you don't have your own transportation, I really have to in vehicle with these um, people in the bus and stuff. When somebody else, when you will talk up for yourself and you have others not talking up, then you see what I'm saying? Come on, man, we have to take a stand. We have to take a stand. Follow the rules. Follow the rules. Even when it's Babylonian system and I make them make up things, I see people, a lot of people, some people saying, oh, there's not me in COVID, COVID pass and gone. Well, I don't know about you, know, but I take it seriously. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I take it seriously, yeah? So come on. Well, I'm here at work. I reach work right now. Mm -hmm. So this is just my view on following the rules. There are rules to follow, and I do believe in rules. Whatever the rules is, live by the rules live by the rules that's all i'm saying we can't keep going on and on and on and on and not abiding by these rules and that is why so many of us get in problem and then have to blame government this and government that you cannot blame government for everything you have to blame yourself because without you taking a stand what is going to happen you have to yo we have to so let us take precaution let us try to be safe I don't know about you, you know, but I can speak for myself. Yeah, I can speak for myself. And in doing so, speaking for myself. And in doing so, speaking for myself, it's very concerning. We have to be very careful. We have to. We can't just get up and go on from day to day. We are going to affect other people's lives. Because if you don't care, then they start thinking about it when you go there and then you pick up corona or anything and you carry it home. Sometimes there's a poor um, parent and other family who are affected. So you have to be careful what you're doing. I'm telling you, be careful. I'm begging you to be careful. 
it's not easy and the thing about it things when the country closed down we all affected we all not one not all but all of us so we have to take precaution in doing so remember let's not live for ourselves alone let's also live for others don't live for yourself alone don't be selfish because that is very selfish when you go out there doing foolish some people saying oh there's nothing in corona corona pass and gone i mean i know about you but me take it serious yeah me take this corona serious I mean, I'm, around the corner. I'm telling you like it is so the only reason why if i don't have to take the bus i don't take it you know but this is not my regular route um work i'm on a day so where i has to from time to time because it's uh it's far i walk it already home twice but it's far you understand what i'm saying and i'm not going to stress myself or to kill myself from time to time as I, because i love to walk because i do know that our knees will be around tear. you know sometimes even you're the bone them i cry when i'm getting no younger real talk talk truth so all i'm saying each and every one must just take precaution because you can't enough of the young generation them are the one who not none in corona and where really you worry yourself too much and xyz it is real when you look out there you see how much people out there who are dead from corona and i beg you and i talk to you and xyz come on people come on come on let's make a stand let's start with us you all be safe and remember stay out of large gathering wash your hands sanitize your hand wear a mask it is what it is we can't change it it is just what it is love you my beautiful people